Hey everybody, Johnny B. Learn Pro Recording. Welcome into the podcast, blog, post, YouTube content, digital camera, everything. What's happening, everybody? How y'all doing? Everybody good? How's your mom and them? Y'all know what I'm saying? Hey, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. For everybody that, that, that celebrates Mardi Gras, tomorrow is Mardi Gras Day. Have fun. Be safe. Be sane. <laughs> don't be stupid. Like my mama used to say, don't be, you go out there, but don't be stupid. You know better. Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> so anyway, hey, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. In case y'all don't know, um, in case you don't follow, uh, in case you never heard of it, <laughs> Mardi Gras is, Mardi Gras Day is otherwise known as Fat Tuesday. Now, Fat Tuesday is a day before Ash Wednesday, where in the Catholic religion, Ash Wednesday, you get you, you got to give up a vice for 40 days. It actually works out to be like 46 days, 47 days. But like, say you won't go, say you're gonna give up drinking, right? Fat Tuesday's the day you got to get a bunch of that drinking in because you know you got to give it up for 40 days. Or let's say you like to eat a lot, you got to give up a lot of you know you're gonna eat a lot of food that day before because you got to give it up and you go miss it. So whatever your vice is, you know you're gonna give up smoking, you're gonna give up whatever, you know, get a bunch of it in now because you got to stop for 40 days. So we all we all celebrate in our own way. You know, but uh, it, it's cool. It, it It's just fun, man. We have a good time, you know. And, and even though I'm in California, we still celebrate the way that we like to celebrate. So, you know, we, we cook a, we cook a good meal. We have we have some drinks. I might have a drink over here right now, but I ain't telling y'all. <laughs> so there you go. I'm not sure I can tell you because I know the boss watches this. Hi, honey. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hey, listen, man, we got some really cool stuff coming up. We've had some really cool stuff happening in the studio in the last few weeks. You know, um, y'all know the last few weeks I was talking to you about a band that we had in that um, I couldn't really talk to you about. I couldn't really tell you about. Um, I could tell you now. It was uh, the band is Diabology. If you guys want to go follow them on Instagram or, or or wherever they're at, you know, go check out some of their videos on YouTube. Um, awesome. If you if you guys have any affinity towards uh, uh, metal, dark metal. Um, black metal, uh, hard rock. These guys are these guys will impress you, man. They're they're young, they're uh, they're talented. Dude, the drummer Matt, Matt, dude, if you're listening, appreciate you, man. You you, you killed it, bro. Um, y'all are um, y'all got a future. I tell you what, Matt, you're gonna be dangerous in about five years, bro. You keep this up, people are gonna be scared of you, my friend. Um, the, dude, the drum the drum sounded awesome. Everything sounded great. Um, the producer engineer uh, was uh, uh, Dave Kaminsky of uh, Black Metal Dave at Black Metal Dave. Go follow, go follow Dave. Dave is Dave is one of those exceptional um, engineers that that I like to um, just pick his brain and sit next to him and watch him sometimes and and uh, steal his ideas. Man, he he he, dude, he got the he got some sounds from the drums in my room in my studio. Look, we've been here a long time. We've been here almost 17 years and. He got some sounds off these drums in my room I'd never heard before. And and just I'm Dave, I'm stealing your ideas, bro. I got you, man. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be using your uh, some of your techniques ne next time, man. Um I watched, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna mimic because uh you, you got some amazing sounds out of there, man, and I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Um so they did all the drums in our studio A, <clears throat> our larger studio, and then they moved to Studio B, the smaller studio, to do guitars, bass, and uh, vocals. And uh, even in there, man, the, the 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 vocals sounded awesome. You know, um, the the guitars, dude. The guitars are so big. The guitars are so huge, and just you know, it just the way it was recorded is how what makes this record sound the way that it does. And Dave Dave Kaminsky really takes his time. He knows his craft. He understands what's supposed to be where. Um, he knows how to do it. He's done it before, and he gets he he just gets an amazing sound, and it's it's amazingly cool. Um, so check them out, man. Diabology. Uh, look for the record coming out. I think uh, I think it's gonna be uh, April, May. It may be uh, may released the end of April, early May, something like that. Um, they still gotta they still gotta mix and everything, put it together. But um, awesome, awesome record, man. We're looking forward to it. Um, so something else we got coming up, which I wanted to talk to y'all about. Um, hang on a second. I gotta get over here to it. Oh, I think it's um <clears throat> March 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you guys are not on my list, 
you're not going to get the yeah we'll we'll do a general oh you know invite to you from the from the website and from the from the blog post and from the the you you know from the podcast thing um but you, you get on the list you guys get on my list and you're going to get a, 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 a you know you're going to get an it an individual invite to these live um, webinars, workshops. We get a live workshop coming up this month. Um, this month's workshop is um, um, we're going to have uh, Jacob Sweet of No Trust Productions is going to be, um, he's going to be doing a live mix on a hip hop song. Um, I think you guys are going to dig this. Jacob Sweet uh, from No Trust Productions. He's uh, he's from Brooklyn, New York. He's, uh, he's now based here in Los Angeles. He's worked with such people as... Um, um, notable things he's worked, people he's worked with is Rich the Kid, Jay Critch, uh, Six Nine, Riff Raff, Sh Chef G, and more. So, um, dude, this guy's got chops, man. He's uh, he's really good. I think you guys are gonna enjoy watching this. Look, the lives are awesome because it gives you a chance to interact. It gives you a chance to comment, ask questions, um, just basic basic interaction on your part. Um, you, you know, we're going to have a moderator. We're going to have multiple cameras set up in the room so you guys can see what's going on in the entire room. You'll be able to watch the, the screen that Jake's doing. Um, and, and he's really good at what he does. He, he's, he's just, um, he's quite exceptional at mixing, but he's also himself a great producer. So, um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have him talk to you more about it on, on the 18th. Um, so again, this March 18th at 5 PM. Get on my list. I will send out um, a, 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 an individual invite to you for that so you can fill out the form and get involved and be a part of that. We're going to limit it to just a certain amount of people. Um, I think last time we limited it to 100 people. And it was easier to manage. It was easier to, to control. We didn't, have a, a, you know, we didn't have a bunch of people in there that, that shouldn't have been there. So um, that's why we have moderators. They come in and make sure that you know everybody's legit and everybody's cool <clears throat> and everybody's learning and having a good time. So... Um, in a little bit, I'm gonna run. A, I'm gonna run a, a, a quick video for you. I may have run it before. You may have seen it before. Um, the ten tips on getting and keeping a gig. Um, I think this is really important. So I want to run that again for you. I'm also gonna make the. Um, I'm gonna make a PDF downloadable for you, so you can print it out, have it, look at it, study it, understand it, and know it. This is only gonna help you grow. Um, my job and my 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 passion is to help you. Be a better audio engineer, better producer, better studio owner, better business, small business person in the audio world. Um, you know, we always give tips on how to get gigs and things like that, how to get gigs and keep gigs and how to collect your money, how to how to how to market yourself. Um, plus, plus also the recording stuff, you know, how to use an EQ, how to use a compressor, whatever, you know, all that's in there. Um, we try to help out in all ways. If you guys have any any questions or you know what, if there's any. If there's anything that's bothering you, anything that, that you guys feel like you need help with, please reach out. Um, it's info at learnprorecording.com. Again, I'll put a link here so you guys can find it. I'll also put a link in the YouTube video, in the description of the YouTube thing, so you just click it and, and email me. But reach out. Ask me anything. Um, if there's something that you're struggling with, something that you want me to, you want us to do a video about, please let me know. Love to love to love to accommodate you, man. I love to help out. Um, dude, the course. The course is coming. Um, the course will be here. <clears throat> the course will be here March 1st. Um, look for it, dude. I'll tell you what, this has been, um, I thought, you know, I thought going in, no, oh, this is going to be easy. All I got to do is, um, all you do is write some stuff down and make a couple of slideshows and <clears throat> do a little voiceover on it and, and give it to you, sell it to you, whatever, man. But, uh, bro. This is like one of the one of the more difficult things I have ever done is this course. Um, you know, there's so much that I wanted to offer, so much I wanted to tell you, so much I wanted to do for you, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm still trying to keep it condensed and try to keep it try to keep it simple and to the point, you know. And dude, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. So I kept having to add more and add more and add it. Oh, another bonus. So I want to put this in there. Oh, another thing I got to talk. I got to tell them about this. Thing. What if they want to see this thing, bro? This thing turned into a thing. It just, it's been huge, but it's coming to, a, it's coming near the end, man. Once I get it done, I can relax a little bit, dude. This has been one of the, one of the more difficult things I've ever done is build this course. But you guys, you, hopefully you guys love it. 
please. It's for you. I'm doing all this for you, man. Um, drive me to drink, people. <laughs> I'll keep this over here for now. I'm not going to show that to you. No, look, it's it's just, it, dude, the course is, it's, it's amazing. It's so much fun. Let me, I'm going to run down some of the, what we got coming up, man, because it's just, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So it starts off with, like, what is sound? How does sound work? How do your ears work? How, how, how do you, how do you, how do, how do, how do, how do these things get in there that you can hear, you know? Then it, a little brief history of recording, of recorded sound. How did it start? How did our recording, all the recording things start? <laughs> then it goes to, um, then it gets into the basics of signal flow. There's a lot to this. <laughs> I found out this is one of those less, this is one of those modules that I was building. And I was like, oh, I got to tell them about that thing. I got to tell them this. They, oh, they got to know this other thing. <laughs> so it went into this thing. I had to like actually make that into two parts. I had to make a part A and a part B. Bro, it, it got out of hand, but I, I, I'm, I'm really proud of the course. I'm really hoping you guys dig it. Please let me know. <laughs> Just let me know if it sucks. Let me know if you find any misspelled words, man, because you can go find a misspelled word. I'm fine. I'm sure. I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm, that's not my focus. My focus isn't, you know, making sure things are perfect in there. But, dude, I'll, hopefully, the point of the, the whole point of the course is to help you guys grow as audio engineers, not only in the, the technical aspect of how recording works and how all the tools that we use for recording works, but also... Also, the part about getting the gig and 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 running your business, starting your business, and running your business. How what what software to use to keep keep track of your calendar? What what how do you what email client should you use to email your customers? Um, should you email your customers all at once or should you blast? What do you, do you do? How how do you market? You do Craigslist ads? Do you just just depend on word of mouth? I mean, there, dude, the, it's it's never ending. It is, and you're gonna find that this course is gonna be like an evolving um, um, uh, growth process. Um, as I come up with things to put in the course, I'm gonna put in the course. And if you own it, it will always just update. Um, you own the course forever, and as it updates and as it as it grows, it will update and grow for you. Um, and the, the beauty part of it is, is it's not expensive. Um, it, I'm, I'm not trying to get rich. I only need help in covering the hosting and the building of it. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we do have a monthly overhead on the hosting and, and, and all the, you know, where everything is and the marketing part of it and all that. There is a, there's an overhead cost on that. I'm just trying to cover that. I don't really, I'm not really trying, I'm not trying to buy a Ferrari. Don't want that. Unless they make Ferraris in four wheel drive. You know, I ain't y'all, y'all that know me know I ain't driving it unless it's got four WD. So y'all know how this works. I'm going to pass this over to the, um, I'm going to pass this over to the to the video now and the 10 tips on how to get and keep the gig. You guys enjoy that? Man, have a safe and happy Mardi Gras day. Y'all have fun, but remember to keep it safe, keep it sane. Like my mom always said, don't be stupid. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's how we do it. So I'm going to turn this over there now. Um, don't forget to um, to go to um, www.learnprorecording.com forward slash get the gig to get the downloads. And this also puts you on my list so you get the other stuff as well. So I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me for so long. I'm happy that you guys are safe and hopefully you're having a good time and that you're gonna grow and become. And and look for the course March 1st. If you're on my list, you're gonna get some extra special stuff with the course. I'm just saying, there's, you know, the getting on the list is free and you, you're gonna get extra stuff. So be on the list and you get extra stuff, you know, otherwise I in next, in the next blog post, I will, um, do a, uh, a shout out to how you can, uh, join the course if you're not on my list. Okay. So I appreciate you guys again. Happy Mardi Gras. Have fun. Be safe. I'm Donnie B and I am out of here. Hey everybody, Donnie B. Learn Pro Recording. Hey man, welcome in uh, the blog post today. Uh, I got 10 tips for you to help you get the gig and keep the gig. This is for the freelance audio engineer, producer, um, you know, mix mix person, that kind of stuff, man. Um, you know, dealing with clients is is tough, and this some of these tips might just help you get the client and keep the client. So there you go. Let's get started. Here we go. Know your craft. 
this should be a no-brainer, man. Um, you should know your craft and be ready to deliver to the client when the when a client calls. Um, if you're a Logic person, you know how to use Logic. If you're a Pro Tools person, know how to use Pro Tools. I mean, it's really simple. You know, definitely uh, practice and, and get better at your craft all the time. Dude, answer your phone. Um, what happens is if the client needs your service, man, and you don't answer the call, the client's on to the next engineer on his list. You, uh, you might miss the gig. And then too, I mean, as a studio owner, if I call you and you don't answer the phone and, uh, you know, um, I, I, I'm on to the next engineer, man, I need to, I need to fill the slot. You know, I got a client that needs an engineer and, and we want to like book things right now, you know? So, um, even if you're in a session, you can't answer, I mean, have a, have a, have a button ready to go where, you know, it automatically sends a text, something like, oh, I'll call you right back or that kind of thing. Then I know at least you got my call and that you're going to, you know, you're going to call me back as soon as you get a minute. So. There you go. Hey, uh, keep your voicemail available, <laughs> man. Uh, this is how this whole conversation started the other day. I was talking to a talking to a student. I tried to call him to to actually book him in for a session as an engineer, and I couldn't leave a message. Man, his voicemail box was full. You know, do clean out your voicemail box. Just stay on top of that kind of stuff, man. I mean, communication is key. If somebody's trying to get a hold of you, they they need to get a hold of you. So so you know, call them back. Clean it out. Call them back. And then call back as soon as you can. If you say that you're going to call back and, and or it, like you send the text message, I'll call you right back. Dude, call me right back. I mean, as soon as I hear from you, I can get you booked in. But if, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to have to move on to the next person. Because, I mean, as a studio owner and a studio manager, my job is to book the studio with clients. And if the client needs a needs a needs an engineer, I need somebody right now. And if you, you know, if you don't answer my call, when I call you too many times, I'm going to stop calling. I'm just going to not call you anymore. And, you know, I mean, it's probably that you're busy and you got something else to do. That's cool. But, you know, let me know. Again, communicate. Communication is key. Okay. Um, always be prepared. Um, the best thing you could do as an engineer is to understand the job and you don't need constant supervision. I mean, if, it, I mean, if you're new here, you've never been here before, I'm going to show you where things are. I'm going to show you where the volume controls are and the inputs and outputs and that kind of thing. Things you need to know, you know, but it, dude, if I got to sit there and, and run the session, and hold your hand the whole time. I mean, what's the point? I'll just do it myself and make all the money myself. You know what I mean? So why, why did I call you if I got to sit there with you, you know, always be prepared, always offer more than the client is expecting, dude, just make this real simple. Always over deliver. You know what I mean? Make sure to like things like labeling your tracks and things like that. They, they, these are things that clients don't normally expect. Well, I mean, labeling tracks, you should do that anyway. Um, you know, but it's as simple as asking if the, you know, asking the client, hey, you want a cup of coffee? Let me get you a bottle of water. You know, just real simple stuff, man. And the client remembers these things and they're going to want to work with you more because you were the person that offered them more and gave them, you know, you, you made them feel like they, they were the, the, the most important thing in the, in the room that they actually are. So here's a great one, man. Be on time. Actually be early. Um, if the client's coming at, at two o'clock, I want, you know, I, I prefer that you're here at one thirty. The, the client's generally going to be here a little bit early because you know, they're excited about their session. They want to be here. Dude, if they, if, if the client's sitting here waiting for you and you know, and, and you get here late, I'm never going to call you again. Um, we have a, we have a creed that we live by in this, in this business. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're fired. That should be all that needs to be said about that. Pay attention to the session, dude. Don't be on your phone, checking your emails, watching TikTok videos while your client's in the booth, whatever. Be happy to be a part of their project. Be proud of the work that you're doing with the client and the client will notice this and they will want to work with you more. They'll want to work with you again. Stay positive. Even when things go wrong, dude, Pro Tools, I promise Pro Tools is going to crash. If it, you know what, man, if Pro Tools doesn't crash at least once a day, I think something's wrong with it. Um, it, it it's going to crash, but don't freak out. Just stay calm. Maybe let the client know, hey, um, you know, hey, I got to do something here with the computer. Um, I got to do a couple of things. It's gonna take me a couple of minutes. This might be a good time for you to take a break. Me, you know, go to the restroom, get a coffee, whatever. You know, um, just don't freak out, man. Just stay calm and fix the issues. Never let the client see your frustrations, because once that happens, the client loses all confidence in you, and they don't want to deal with you. Okay, and stay professional. Um, keep 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 it professional, man. Don't come to the session stoned or drunk. Try to, you know, try to make sure you smell okay. Not too much cologne. I mean, don't, don't be offensive and, and try not to smell like you just came from the gym, dude. I mean, take it like this. You guys are locked in a small room and you know, if, if you're funky, then the client may, the client won't want to work with you again. So clients sometimes just don't like you. 
And that is a thing. I mean, I've got clients that, that don't like working with me. I mean, we're, we know each other and we're friends and, you know, we're colleagues, but they just, we don't work well together. So they don't want to work with me. You know, every time they come here, they say, oh, hey, don't forget, I need to work with uh, the other guy. So, you know, and I'm not offended. I'm not, I'm, it's just sometimes, sometimes creativity clashes and that, that happens, you know. Um, I just, I just make it a habit to never get too personal with a client. Um, you know, I don't go to parties with clients. I don't, I don't hang out with clients, um, that kind of thing until, you know, unless we establish a relationship and then, you know, the clients in the studio is like, Hey, let's have a drink. Cause we finished the project. And then that's a little different. You know, if you've got an established relationship with your client, that's fine. These are just a couple of tips to help you get and keep the gig. You know what I mean? If it, these are, these are obviously aren't everything, but, uh, it's just a couple of things that I've noticed, uh, around recently that, that, I, maybe I thought I'd tell y'all about, you know? So anyway, you know, look, I've been, a, I've been a studio owner in, in, in Los Angeles for about 20 years. So I, I've seen a few things. I've done a few things and we've gotten to work with some great artists and done some amazing sessions. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Um, you know what, you'll find that your clients will appreciate you for it and not only continue to use your services, but they will also refer you to their friends. Like when a client, someone asks your client, Hey, where'd you get that done? Does this vocal sound amazing? They're going to mention your name and then that client's going to call you because they want to work with you because their friend worked with you and they, they had a great time. So, you know what, just, you just want to continue to, to grow and build and build your reputation so that, um, you know, people reach out to you, man. That's awesome. So, hey, good luck in your future as an audio engineer and uh, get out there and get the gig, man. Just get out there and get work, get her done. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, if you, if you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, you can always reach out to me at Learn Pro Recording. Um, I'm at www.learnprorecording.com www.learnprorecording.com and you can email me at info at learnprorecording.com my name is donnie b i am out i will talk to y'all next time have a great day ladies and gentlemen peace